We're here at the launch of the brand new Audi Q8, the company's new flagship SUV. And I'm here in conversation with Mr. Balbir Dhillon, the head of Audi India. Mr. Dhillon, good morning. Good and morning. congratulations on the launch. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, before we get right into the car itself, uh, 2020, it's a brand new year. Uh, I believe you've got a lot planned for the next few years. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. Not only 2020, uh, we have been working past couple of months on strategy 2025. So we have devised this strategy for not just this year, for the, but for the six years, where there are going to be four uh, pillars of strength for us, starting with customer centricity, uh, our network, uh, product portfolio as well as digitalization. So these are the four broad pillars which we will work upon and you are seeing work on one of the pillars today with the launch of the new Q8. Fantastic, thank you. And now getting to the product itself. Flagship SUV, a price of 1.33 crore. Now that's a flagship price but it's not your average SUV. You are trying things a little bit differently with the Q8. Can you tell us a bit more about that proposition? Yes, of course. So with our top-down strategy, uh, this car you know, stands on top of Q7. Uh, obviously Q7 we are building in India, but this is going to be a fully built unit that is coming from uh, Germany, German quality, built quality. Uh, this car is going to be one for every individual, so this is going to be suiting your personality. You can design your own car. This is going to be extremely personalized cars, so we want our customers to experience the new level where the car becomes extension of their personality. So Q8, every Q8 is going to be a unique car and that is what I want our customers to experience. Fantastic. But now, where do you bring in such a uh, intricate level of customization? Does that also lead to longer waiting periods for customers? Will they have to wait a little longer for their car to arrive? Well, we have solution for uh, everything. So what we will do is we will keep certain cars which we will design and bring for our customers in our showrooms. If somebody wants a car very quickly, you can pick up one of the cars. But we still want most of our customers to design their own cars, become, you know, then, then you love the car, then you're engaged in designing your own car. And the excitement of owning a car which you design by yourself is very different. And of course, if that be the case, approximately four months will be the waiting period if you, from the time you order the car and by the time you have the, you know, the wheels in your hands. Fantastic. Now, this car, you have said in the past that Audi is going forward with a petrol first strategy. Now, this car comes with a V6 petrol and I believe quite a powerful one, but I believe that you are also considering something even more powerful. Well, we will not talk too much about it, but yes, of course, RSQ8 is also on the on the cards. So we are seriously looking at that car as well. Uh, you, you, you can read about it. Uh, it's a super exciting car. But let's focus our energy today on the on the Q8 that we have, which comes with the 340 new uh, uh, horsepower, 500 newton meter torque, 5.9 seconds from 0 to 100. So this in itself is a powerful car, and I'm sure our customers will be excited when they drive this car and with the boldness that it has, the road presence that it has, the extension of your personality that it has, it's going to be a, a very, very niche for us uh, in our strategy. Fantastic. Now, that's something to look forward to, but can you tell us a little bit about the star car for you of 2019, which was the A6, very important model, Absolutely. and uh, how has that been since the car was launched? So as within our petrol strategy, even the, Ace, the new A6 that we launched a couple of weeks back has received a very positive feedback from our customer. Anybody who has owned the car or the excitement that people have seen in the car is really amazing. A very young generation who is really excited, who can afford these cars, they're super excited to drive the car because it's a, it's a car that you can drive and it's a car where you can be driven. So it's a combination, of the best of two worlds. So we have received fantastic response to that as well. So we are super excited this year that we'll have full year of uh, uh, full year where we can sell the A6 because it's also B6, BS6 compliant. Fantastic. And now, like you said, a full year ahead. We're only at the start of 2020 and I'm sure you can't tell us all of it, but can you give us a little bit of a hint of uh, what's to come later in the year 2020? So we are extremely excited. This, uh, this year is going to be uh, a very good year for us. Uh, when we move from BS4 to BS6, I can only tell you all the models that we will bring will be all either a new models or the next generation or at least the product improvement. So there is no single model that we will have from BS4 to BS6 where just we are changing the engine under the hood. So what we have decided, it's a very bold step that we want to bring all the latest technologies, all the latest cars available across the world also for our customers into India. So yes, it is an exciting year. I can only give you a hint of one next car that we are getting and that's the new A8 which we'll get next month. So just stay tuned for that. Beyond that, I won't tell today. Let's have excitement be there for the next few months to come. And 
maybe a little bit on the uh, the Audi e-tron. That's another car we're excited for. Absolutely. With e-tron, we get into a, a completely new era, a completely new technology, and something which we have not done before. You've already seen this car. We brought the car a couple of months back. So that car also you will see on the road running very successfully in very, very short time. Fantastic. A lot to look forward to then, everybody. But for now, the Audi Q8, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. And all the best. Thank you.